Hey, what's up guys? It's Lazarix and welcome to another episode of Hackers. And I just want to start off letting you know that you do get some experience from upgrading your programs. And I was told that by Mr. Pyro here. And I did upgrade another program like last episode. We have we had like 12,000 B coins left over. Well, I used that, um, got up a little bit higher. And we got our beam cannon going to level seven. Super excited for that. Um, only six and a half hours left to go, so we probably won't be able to use it this episode, but that'll help us a lot. And our scanner has finished upgrading. Now it's level seven. I think it'll turn gold at level eight um, is when it changes the, the design of it. And I got my portal program up. Let's go to work. Um, see here I just found this guy earlier boom a hundred thousand and eighteen hundred B coins not bad just what we're looking for let's see what we can do his scanner is also down and that'll be it because his other one back here I think it's like level one or, or it's level two or three so it's not gonna make a big difference for us let's get started it's gonna be nice that we can just jump right past here. Look at the bars barely going up. Nice and easy for us. Oops, we're about to rave that. Oops, big mistake. Accidentally laid down the access program first. Never do that. And we're gonna lay the portal right on here with the ice wall and the shurikens. Kind of because we're running out of time and we're within the other scanner's range. So we don't really have a, a, a choice there. Okay, I think it's gonna go down. Yeah, there it goes. Um, ice walls is going to go down very quickly. Oh, we almost lost it, but there we go. We got it. All those are down. All at once. Nice and easy. Gotta take down that sentry so the antivirus doesn't spread, and it doesn't. And we are home free. Nothing to get in our way. Look at those storages. That's a very high level storage. That's I think where all the money is at. And these are pretty high level as well. That's probably where the, the B coins are at. So he had 1800, but he does have a B coin mine over here with a server farm. So we'll see how many B coins we get from there. Okay, so there's not a lot in this B coin mine over here. So we're gonna leave that. And we got the 100,000. So we are going to leave it at that. I mean, that's not worth spending the B coins and time going over here to try to pick those up. Perfect. All right. Minus five. That's good. We don't want to jump up too high in our reputation. We want to stay down here where all the loot is. And we could upgrade our sentry. But let's check out how far we'll go first with the money we have. So I did make some progress getting up to 800,000, but I kind of ran short on a time today and we are going to go ahead and upgrade the sentry. There we go. Um, boost it up there about six hours. Not bad. It'll take some time, but um, let's go in for another hack here. Okay guys, so our beam cannon has finished upgrading and it's now level seven and it does 33 damage and if we upgrade upgrade it again it'll do even more plus five that'll that would be huge um our scanner did finish upgrading to level seven and we got it going to level eight now it cost one million to upgrade it um but i think it will help a lot because check this out so this guy was just using one wraith in a portal level 27 only two below us so it's uh, pretty close but he did use a wraith and an access program together that's a disaster waiting to happen so of course he's not going to get past our high level scanner and he's not going to be able to use our the portal and it's just all going to go downhill from there so i was wondering it's kind of weird why he brought along two battering rams even though he planned on wraithing the code gates seems kind of odd but they also got a crack in here which is I guess just gonna help him get past the core because that can be kind of a trouble if you're trying to uh, 
get through it quickly and he laid down two battering rams on the scanner not sure why he did that maybe he wanted to get rid of them but that wouldn't make sense because when you just get rid of them before the attack that way you can have more programs that you could use along with you just doesn't make a lot of sense why you would do that maybe it definitely wasn't an accident because they're all the way over on the right side so not sure what he was thinking here You're definitely not making a lot of progress already a minute uh, five seconds already went by so he's losing on time, not getting very far, and he still has to go through all that. Kraken finally gets through the core, moving on to the first code gate. Gonna get past it, no problem. And the second one, he's already used up his battering rams. Hmm, I'm not sure what he was thinking here. Um, but this is good for us because we had a lot of B-coins to save. And he's gonna try to take it down with beam cannons, but they're only level 6. So it's gonna it's gonna go down really slow. That's the perk of upgrading your code gate with your scanner as well. Kind of defend on both fronts of their attacks. Um, and it's just gonna take up all his time, and he's not gonna be able to get anywhere. So that was pretty much that. Nothing else. Nothing else interesting happens with that one. Pretty good. So we got our scanner going up. That's why I upgraded it again. Hopefully it'll turn gold. That would be really cool just kind of let everyone know like hey I got a high level scanner don't even don't even try stealth hacking me because it's not gonna work you know so that's the plan with that then we won't have to worry about it for a while um, just to let you know I can't upgrade my beam cannon again because 32,000 but look at this I can't upgrade my Bitcoin mixer again we're out of space actually unless we got rid of one of our nodes here Probably would be a server farm, but I'd rather upgrade our core first. We'll have to see what uh, what else is available when we upgrade our core. There's still a lot of other things we have to do, and I do want to upgrade. Let's see, I do want to upgrade the battering ram because we're super close to the sixteen thousand that we need, and our army is all or our programs are all queued up. So I'm going to quick find someone to hack. Oh my gosh, no way. Is this the lucky hack that we needed? 2,000 B-Coins, $73,000. Oh my gosh. He's got to turn it out of the way. I think we can get past that without it bothering us. Two centuries. Okay, this will be nice and easy. Looks like most of the B-Coins are going to be in his B-Coin mines because his mixer there isn't very full so let's just go ahead and get started here I just had some extra stealth programs there the access ones just to have them along um, I don't need them right now just uh, didn't want to get rid of them and waste the b-coins so uh, that's alright though hopefully we can get take down that sentry awesome before the antivirus spread to the core which is good onto the turret and boom down plenty of space to drop the shurikens gonna attack all three nodes at once there it's gonna help us out a lot super high level six ice walls are gonna make a big difference there and there we go oh i just noticed that the antivirus just spread to those nodes so we didn't even have to worry about that attacking us battering ram two beam cannons and the Guardian's pretty weak, so I'm going to throw in a shield for that one. That's alright though. They do cost 120, so I do want to be more conservative with my ice walls. Because if we can save one, that'll save us a lot of B-Coins. Now on to where the money is. He does have a lot of B-Coins, so I think we can be a little bit liberal with our programs. And on to the second one. Uh, probably didn't need a shield there. That was an accident. <laughs> That's okay. Let's move on. Oh, yeah. See, he did have some money in a server farm. Taking down his code or his uh, database storages. Moving on over here. Code gates down. Nice and easy attack. Not too hard. Yes. Most. Let's see how much is gonna be in here. Boom. Four hundred. That's huge. 
Oh, I'm gonna put three on there. And look how fast that level seven beam cannon does. Look at that go down super fast. That saves us a ton of time upgrading those. Hopefully we can get it upgraded again soon. I'll think about um, getting rid of something so we can add another storage. So let's end it there. Boom, 2,000, 73,000. Doing big upgrades a lot lately. And let's check it out. All right. Ooh, I also want to upgrade the blaster, but um, let's go with the beam cannon first. Just to get that out of the way. I don't think we'll be up. We'll need to upgrade it for a while after we get it to level four. Oh my gosh, you guys! I forgot to show you this hack. Check this out. We have seventy-eight thousand. He's going with the stealth program. So he's got to race. Scanner is up though, and it's taken down his time. He's got a portal program. What's he gonna do? He's got past the code gates. Oh, he's gonna lay down the portal program, but the scanner's in range. He's running out of time. Boom! There it goes. He ran out of time. He ended the attack. He couldn't get down his portal program because of our high level scanner. Um, he could have risked it and dropped an access program on the black ice so that way he could be out of range when installing his portal program on the guardian there that was awesome huge perks of upgrading your scanner and then having them behind your code gates really takes up their uh, time there to use your stealth programs and that is just another example of how awesome it is to have your scanner upgraded we have a lot more nodes that we I want to upgrade and exciting things to come. I think we're going to upgrade the code or the core soon, I should say. Um, still thinking about that though. We do need to upgrade our turrets and maybe a sentry upgrade as well. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys all next time.